everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, as always, my name is Sinead and you're very welcome. As you can tell by the title of this video, today we're talking meal prep. Now, as soon as you hear the word meal prep, everybody goes, oh my God, meal prep. I think a thousand ingredients and I think I don't have time for that. Well, today I'm here to show you that you do and you can also do it on a budget. So if you're new to this, let's talk through it step by step and I'm going to show you two healthy, budgeted meal ideas that you can do right now, save in your freezer and save yourself a ton of time during the week. So step number one as part of any meal prep plan is to get prepared. You want to write down a list of all your ingredients, pick recipes that are quick and simple and that you can do in a minimal amount of time. So for me today, I've decided to make a sweet and sour and also a bolognese. So I've written out everything I needed to make those two recipes. Alongside my ingredients list, I wrote down the quantities of each ingredient that I want in each separate lunchbox so I know that I'm eating consistently and the same every day. This also helps me to cost everything out and budget it accordingly to make sure that you're not exceeding your budget for your meal for that day. When people are thinking about meal prep, they think raw ingredients and fresh ingredients. And that's fantastic if you have the time to cook. But for me as a student and also as somebody who has a full-time job, I don't always have time A, to go to the shop to buy fresh produce every week, and B, to chop, cut, and prepare all my meals from scratch. So these are sauces in the jar that I bought from my local supermarket. They're low fat and low salt, so you don't need to feel guilty about using sauces that come from a jar or that come from a packet. It's all about making sure we're eating healthy meals on a budget and that are quick. So I have all my ingredients laid out for these two recipes here and I also have my trusty weighing scales and a measuring cup to make sure again that we're getting the right quantities in each meal. This step really applies to dry goods like rice and pasta because it's really easy to cook way more than you need. For the two meals that we're making today, the sweet and sour and the bolognese, we're going to need four saucepans. Four plus whatever this is. One for our spaghetti, one for our egg noodles, and one each for the bulk of the meal. The beauty about using egg noodles is that they already come in pre-portioned nests. So all we have to do is bring some water to the boil, pop them in for three minutes, and they are done. At the same time as that's going on, we're going to weigh out 50 grams of dry spaghetti. That's going to cover each meal, and we're also going to bring that to the boil. So while the spaghetti and the egg noodles are boiling away, we're going to throw our sweet and sour sauce and our bolognese sauce into each of the big saucepans, bring them to the boil, and then weigh out the vegetables for each mixture alongside the meat or the vegetarian substitution that you're using. So personally for me, I try to eat meat-free during the week. So I'm using corn mince and also corn pieces, which are the equivalent of chicken. So of course, feel free to do these recipes with the turkey mince, chicken mince, beef mince, whatever takes your fancy. So as those sauces come to the boil, I've weighed out my vegetables and also my other alternative fillings. As I mentioned, I choose to eat meat-free for the majority of the week. So I use corn mince, which looks like this if you haven't seen it before. And I also use corn pieces. So the sauces have been brought to the boil, all the ingredients have been added, and now I'm just going to let them sit there for about 10 minutes. The beauty of cooking with other vegetarian substitutes is that there is not a lot of mess, and also they take a lot less time to cook. So from start to finish, I've probably been standing here watching these cook away for about 20 minutes all in all. And the next step while your food is cooking away in the background is to make sure you have an array of Tupperware that you can put your meals into when they're finished. Now people automatically think that you need super pretty lunch boxes with many different compartments in order to do meal prep the right way and that's just not true. I have many different types of lunch boxes. I have ones from Ikea, I have Chinese carton containers. There's so many different types. They're all equally as good as each other and I can guarantee that you have a ton of them in your cupboard at home. Once you're sure your food has cooled down enough, all that's left to do is to pop them into their containers.
So the final step of your process then once you've completed everything is to make sure that you label your lunch boxes or your containers just to make sure that you don't forget A, what it is and B, how long it has been there. I typically wouldn't leave anything in the freezer longer than about six weeks. But what I tend to do is I will leave one unfrozen and take that with me to work on the next day as I typically do my meal prep on a Sunday evening and then I will freeze the rest. Defrost the morning before I want to eat them and come lunchtime they're ready to go. In addition to these prepared meals, I'd always add maybe an avocado or have some fruit with these just to make them a whole and complete lunch. I also like to add sweet corn through my bolognese and maybe even add some extra pineapple to my sweet and sour sauce. All right, everybody, and there you have it. You've meal prepped. You have eight healthy budgeted meals ready for the week. And the best bit, they ring in at sweet and sour, drum roll please, one euro and 52 cent per portion, yes. That is one euro and 52 cents. And your bolognese rings in at a whopping one euro and 13 cent per portion. You've just successfully meal prepped. You've been kind to your mind, kind to your body, and kind to your bank account. So I really hope you enjoyed our beginner meal prep, taking it back to basics and keeping it simple. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I am so up for doing more of these kinds of videos. I'd love to hear your feedback. And even more importantly, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit subscribe. It's that big red button down below. And I really hope I will see you back again. Bye. Pick something quick and pick something dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no.